Hi, I'm Chris from Air Windows, and hey, you can do this. But not just that. This. Because this is Air Windows Stereo Doubler. I'll shut it off again. So Air Windows Stereo Doubler is sort of a variation of a glitch shifter, which already exists. And the purpose is to give you access to the sort of stereo doubling or tripling effect that you might want to have. And I was just asked for this on KVR by somebody who just then got jumped on by other commenters like, dude, he gives you so much, settle down. So I was like, okay, how soon do you want it, Sunday? Actually, it's probably going to be more like Monday or Tuesday, but here is Stereo Doubler. Now, how this works, this uses the glitch shifter algorithm. For that reason, the pitch shifting that it's doing can be a little wandery and choppy. Glitch shifter was named glitch shifter for a reason. It does its thing by finding crossover points and snapping to them. And it's fairly intelligent about that, but what that does mean is that there can be artifacts and little clicks and things in there, although it's minimized to some extent. However, because it's doing that, it's able to do a pitch shifting without so much in the way of blurring and interpolation and blending. So it's a fairly raw upfront sound, and you'll hear it now. Here's the raw sound. And there you have it. Now as you can hear, it's not that glitchy. Even at a fairly intense state, it's not all that glitchy, and that's because Stereo Doubler is optimized to not get too much of that crunchiness. If you want more crunchiness, go with Glitch Shifter itself. But Stereo Doubler has double pitch shifts in opposite directions, and for that reason, you can do the thing that one often does with double. Well, firstly, let me demonstrate. Uh, very small amounts of doubling. So that's a partially constructed solo off of a track that I'm going to put out pretty soon, but it's a sort of transitional track. I'm evolving into actually making albums of this kind of stuff that I do. But what you're hearing is small amounts of detune to large amounts of detune are still giving you the same basic result. And if we use dry wet, rather than having it as all wet, you start being able to do triple tracking. And that sounds kind of like this. Here's your purely dry, purely wet. So if we do exactly three tracks and it's dry wet of uh, 50%, what that means is dry is at 50% and both of the offset pitches are at the other, so they're each at about 25%. So if you want to have equally balanced three tracks, it's got to be a little higher than 50%. 50% mostly centered. Well, 
Whereas if you've got about two thirds, let me put that back. And what you hear is the attention sort of jumps between tracks. And of course, since this is a stereo effect, we could put seriously or seriously two on it to exaggerate it even further. Okay, let's do it. Um, I am going to add, this time I'm gonna go for seriously rather than seriously two, because it is more of a subtle effect. Seriously, two is the one that's capable of boosting lots of stereo and cutting back center. And what I want to do is use stereo doubler set like this and then exaggerate it somewhat, or at least hype out with without boosting it too crazy. So, oh, hang on, wrong thing. Let's continue making a sound. And so if we shut this off, it's a little bit more stable. So what we're doing there, and of course you can download and have Seriously and Seriously too. This is not necessarily upselling you on extra plugins that you then have to buy because all of these are open source audio unit and VST2 plugins and they are supported by Patreon. A quick switch to the Patreon. Um, and the suggestion is if you find these absolutely indispensable and you can afford them, then consider it like 50 bucks per plugin. And if you discover two new plugins a year, then you could do 50 bucks times two a year on the Patreon and it'll figure it'll figure out for you how much that is per month. And hey, if the next year runs around and you find two more plugins that you find indispensable, then that's uh, how that works. As it happens, this has been working well enough that I am here to bring you Stereo Doubler and show you how I would use Seriously to enhance that even further if that's something you wanted to do. Let's switch back to Stereo Doubler and continue adjusting the sound. <laughs> We're going to do more wide. Not as much detune. And And that's what I would do if I was trying to make it a hyper wide guitar with not as much detune and chorusing, heavier on the wet to focus it more on the side channels. And then seriously in there, not seriously too, because that exaggerates the, the stereo effect even more, but seriously one with just a little bit of added center definition and about 50% added space, which is the side stuff and the uh, out of phase stuff. And Q very high. These are the boosts tailored after your classic old uh, Hughes SRS processor. This is something that I did for Chad Clark at Beauty Pill, where he wanted access to this type of sound in the box. And the first effort did not work for him because it did not have the this is the one that did not work for him 
because it did not have the ability to boost the sides and get all crazy with it. And so seriously, two is the one that does that. But this one is one that I would reach for for more subtle stuff without the intense boosting that you can have on side channel on the other one. And it's just a little touch of additional flavor. Again, I can turn it on and off. Off. This is what stereo doubler would do. On, you get a little extra. And well, there you have it, basically. Stereo doubler, and I realize I've just been showing you seriously, so let me switch back to Stereo Doubler is an AU and VST2 plugin for Mac, PC, Linux, Linux on the Raspberry Pi, or at least the Raspberry Pi uh, 4. And uh, I am not certain which ones of these would work on earlier versions of the Raspberry Pi, but I'm using it in Reaper, as you can see on the Mac, but that's also the DAW that I'm using it on in Raspberry Pi. And it's free because this is all supported by Patreon. And the more I get with Patreon, the more I can do. And I'm looking forward to going a lot farther this year, you know, the following year. I have some big plans in mind as far as being able to give people the tools to do sh uh, some pretty shocking things, I think with their laptops and their open source tools. I It may involve things like me bringing out a card game for arrangements, which is physical objects, and so that can't be open source. Some of the, when I have to invest money in physical objects in order to pursue this and, and learn how to do these things for you folks, I have to get paid to do that. But I like having these plugins being completely open source. I like having these plugins being completely accessible because it's important to give people access to tools. And that's something I care a lot about. And I'll be working in upcoming months on things like the new version of console. I'll be working on putting out more of these songs so you can hear what I would do with this stuff. Because I don't expect you to do what I would do with this stuff. I would expect that the stuff that I do is definitely on the weird and strange category and wouldn't expect you to do what I'm doing all the same, it should be a signpost for the kinds of things that you can make happen. And then your imagination does the rest. And if you're not quite sure how to use any of these things, well, show up on the threads and forums and things where I talk about them and ask me questions and I will respond. And yeah, I hope you like Stereo Doubler. Again, this is one of the older ones and I'm bringing it out again. And the reason it's there is because somebody on a forum said, can I have a pitch after detone plugin? And people were like, dude, he's giving you so much. Don't tell him what to do. And I knew that I had this in the pipeline. So I just jumped it ahead a little bit. So you're welcome. And I hope you like it. If it's not exactly the way that you like, uh, try Glitch Shifter which doesn't do the same thing because this is strict. This is distinctly a one side goes up, the other side goes down, and then you can bring in dry in the middle. It is very classically a stereo doubler as people normally use them. And that is why I put it out and made it the way that it is. I've got more of the cabs things coming and I'm going to be digging into some real ideas as far as getting my recording setup on location because because of some health issues with the uh, lady that I'm with. I showed you like the wonderful breads and Easter eggs and things that she was making a bunch of videos ago. And I'm going to have to be here again. So I'm going to be putting together a mobile studio where I can do everything that I would imagine and all the things I'd like to be able to make happen creatively without having to be at my real studio. And that's going to involve things like more 
recording of drums, more recording of guitars and things so that I can do stuff with the memory noise. And it's also going to, I think it's going to involve getting that new teenage engineering mixer. People make such fun of it. They're like, oh, it's terrible. It's so expensive and it's so tiny. And how could anybody use it? Well, I need that thing. I need a mixer that I can put in my pocket that will work as a control surface and that will work as a permanent final multi-channel capture so that I can turn to that to record drums. And for that reason, I'm going to have to put in a plugin once I have it, a plugin that will let me record stereo, uh, record balanced inputs into one of those little stereo jacks so that the track is a stereo track, but one of the sides is out of phase, and then do a simple plugin to convert that to a mono track with half the uh, noise level and better headroom because that's not automatically part of it, but it should work. And if I can make that happen and it sounds great, then I can work with that device as my converter. And then I won't need the, the other converter that I've got. But, any, but more will be revealed as far as that's concerned. I'm just saying I have plans for plugins to support that particular device or indeed anything where you'd want to record into a stereo pair with a single microphone or a, a single balanced output, convert that somehow to a non-balanced input and then use the plugin to convert that to a higher quality. So in theory, you could do that with anything. You could do it with like your Focusrite Scarlett, or if you had line-ins in your laptop, you could use those. And honestly, if you had line-ins on your laptop and both of the channels were getting unpleasant laptop noises and stuff, but it was coming across both of the channels the same, this would cancel that out. So I'm kind of excited about the possibilities of the plugin to support the TX6, because it'll have other uses that other people will be able to make use of. But that's a whole other story. So tell you what, I'll talk to you later. Thank you for paying attention. Thank you for going along with me on this ride of traveling all over the place and coming up with new ways to make videos and stuff. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.